I'm Gallery Homayun Farm, and I'm a fourth year Harvard Medical student and Dora Stute Clinical Research Fellow at UCSF. This year, I've had the incredible opportunity to work with Dr. Nisha Acharya and her colleagues at the Proctor Foundation, a research unit focused on infectious and inflammatory eye diseases. I'm thrilled to be able to tell you a little bit about one of my research projects entitled Epidemiology of Scleritis and Episcleritis. Scleritis and episcleritis are ocular inflammatory diseases with different implications for visual outcomes and systemic disease risk. Classically, episcleritis has been described as having a self-limited course and posing no threat to vision, whereas scleritis may result in ocular complications, be more commonly associated with systemic diseases, and require systemic immunosuppressive therapy. To date, studies of these diseases have been limited to retrospective case series from tertiary eye care centers and specialty practices, which are therefore susceptible to referral bias. Given the absence of population-based reports, we saw the need for a population-based study characterizing the epidemiology of these conditions. We used Kaiser Permanente Hawaii as a source of data for our population-based study. It serves approximately 16% of Hawaii's diverse population, and patient encounters are documented in an electronic medical record system. The purpose of our retrospective cohort study was to ascertain the incidence of scleritis and episcleritis, to describe variations in incidence by age, gender, and race, and to compare the clinical characteristics of these conditions. To that end, we retrospectively searched Kaiser Permanente Hawaii enrollees' medical records from January 2006 to December 2007 for codes associated with ocular inflammation. Subsequently, chart review was conducted to verify clinical diagnoses, and confirmed cases were used to calculate incidence rates per 100,000 person years. 95% confidence intervals were calculated for each incidence rate, including age, gender, and race-specific rates using bias-corrected Poisson regression. To assess for confounding, a multivariate analysis adjusting for age, gender, and race was also performed. Clinical characteristics of scleritis and episcleritis were compared using Fisher's exact test. Overall, we found that of over 217,000 Kaiser Permanente Hawaii members, there were 17 incident scleritis cases and 93 incident episcleritis cases. This translates to overall rates of 4 and 22 per 100,000 person years for scleritis and episcleritis, respectively. Additionally, we observed variations across demographic groups, such that women were overrepresented among scleritis patients. Pacific Islanders were the most underrepresented racial group among cases of scleritis and epscleritis, and blacks had the highest incidence of scleritis. A comparison of the clinical characteristics of scleritis and episcleritis was notable for a higher burden of rheumatoid arthritis in patients with scleritis, a higher rate of ocular complications in patients with scleritis, and more frequent prescription of mitriatic eye drops and systemic immunosuppressants, including systemic corticosteroids, to scleritis patients. In conclusion, we ascertained incidence rates for scleritis and episcleritis in a diverse Hawaiian population, and our results suggest that these conditions may be overrepresented in tertiary eye care settings, as expected, and that episcleritis is more common than scleritis in a general population. Additionally, our results confirm a female predominance that has been observed in previous studies and shows that race is an important predictor of scleritis. These differences in demographic characteristics raise questions about genetic and environmental influences on the development and progression of these conditions. Additionally, a comparison of clinical characteristics of scleritis and episcleritis confirms systemic disease associations that have been previously observed in studies, namely the association between rheumatoid arthritis and scleritis. Our rates of scleritis um, our right rates of systemic disease associations and ocular complications suggest that prior studies overestimate these, especially in episcleritis, likely secondary to referral bias. By highlighting the high prevalence of rheumatoid arthritis among scleritis patients, even in a general population, our study lends credence to the need for systemic evaluation of these patients. Furthermore, the higher rate of complications noted in scleritis points to the need for aggressive systemic therapy in this population. 
I thank you for your attention, and I also would like to thank the Doris Duke Clinical Research Fellowship and its leadership here at UCSF, Dr. Joel Pilevsky and Dr. Peter Chin Hong, for making this research here possible. I welcome your comments um, via email at galleria.homeinfire at gmail.com. Thanks again.